indique où se trouvent les issues de secours, masques à oxygène, gilets de sauvetage, ainsi que la position Brace à adopter. Si vous entendez les mots Brace, Brace. Cet avion possède 8 issues de secours. Les membres de l'équipage vous indiquent actuellement les issues les plus proches de vous. Gardez à l'esprit que l'issue de secours la plus proche peut se trouver derrière vous. Un éclairage au sol vous guidera jusqu'à une sortie. En cas d'urgence, laissez tous vos bagages à main à bord. Quand votre ceinture s'attache, s'ajuste et se détache comme ceci. Elle doit être attachée lorsque le signal « Attachez vos ceintures » est allumé. Et nous vous recommandons de la maintenir voilà. attachée lorsque vous êtes assis. En cas de dépressurisation, des masques tomberont au-dessus de vos sièges. Tirez un masque vers vous pour activer le flux d'oxygène. Placez le masque sur votre nez et votre bouche et respirez normalement. Ajustez le masque en tirant la sangle de chaque côté. Installez d'abord votre masque avant d'assister d'autres passagers. En cas d'amérissage, prenez le gilet de sauvetage sous votre siège. Retirez-le de sa pochette et enfilez-le par la tête. Passez les sangles autour de votre taille, cliquez-les ensemble et tirez pour les ajuster. Ne gonflez pas votre gilet à bord de l'appareil. Une fois hors de l'avion, gonflez le gilet en tirant sur la poignée. S'il ne se gonfle pas ou n'est pas assez gonflé, soufflez dans le tube assez tête. Une lampe de signalisation et un sifflet sont destinés à attirer l'attention. L'équipage vous fournira des gilets pour les enfants. Votre tablette doit maintenant être relevée. Vos accoudoirs rabattus, votre cache hublot relevé et votre ceinture attachée. Vous trouverez de plus amples informations concernant votre sécurité dans notre magazine de bord. Nous vous souhaitons un accueil de bord. Okay, we're hooked. We're hooked. Stand by for pushback. Bonjour, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, from the cabin of this EasyJet A319. Um, although, um, what might um, confuse a few people, we do have two doors over the wing, like that one that you're looking at right now. Um, the reason why EasyJet do that, but it is designated a 319, it is actually a 319 uh, aircraft, but they, um, I think they managed to get another two rows of seat on by not having a galley, and therefore, for reasons of health and safety, etc., etc., they put an extra door over the wing, uh, therefore making it look like an A320. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yes. Uh, welcome everybody on board. Uh, hope to see all the channel members, uh, as many as you can. For tomorrow's show, we're going to be live from Toulouse um, for a very special fly past with um, Airbus. I believe they've got six aircraft that they're going to be using, as well as the, um, the French equivalent of the Red Arrows. So uh, maybe they're called the Red Arrows. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyway... Um, Yes, so quite exciting. Of course, we're going to be there the whole day. Okay, stand by. This is just a very short departing to Toulouse with a flight time of one hour and 15 minutes. We would like to extend a special welcome to our EasyJet Alaska holders. My name is David, and the cabin manager on this flight. Today, we may in the cabin Terry, Isabel, and Jordan. We are here to make your journey safe and comfortable. If there is anything you need, please ask one of us. See the uh, walk bridge there, folks. Longest and highest walk Please bridge in the world. To okay, stand by. Signs and crew instructions, including the following safety procedures. The safety card found in your seat pocket contains important information about exit routes, oxygen masks, life jackets, and the brace position that you must adopt if you hear brace, brace. There are eight emergency exits on this aircraft. Cabin crew are now pointing out the exits nearest to you. Please be aware that your nearest usable exit may be behind you. Hey, emergency lighting will guide you to an exit. In an emergency, leave all baggage on board. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted, and released as shown. 
It must be fastened when the seatbelt signs are on. We recommend that you keep it fastened at all times. <laughs> if the air supply fails, masks will drop from above you. Pull a mask towards you to start the oxygen. Put the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Hold the mask in place with the strap. Pull on each side to adjust. Put on your own mask before helping others. If we land on water, take a life jacket from under your seat. Remove from the pouch and put it over your head. Pass the tapes around your waist and click together. Pull the strap to adjust. Do not inflate it inside the aircraft. When outside, inflate it by pulling the toggle. If it fails to inflate or needs topping up, blow into this tube. There is a light and whistle for attracting attention. The cabin crew can assist you with life jackets for children. Your tray table must now be stowed, armrests down, window blinds open, and seatbelt fastened. Further information regarding your safety on board can be found in the in-flight magazine. We hope you have a great flight. Why, thank you. Okay, so there you go. Um, in-flight safety is uh, complete. Um, always like to keep uh, keep my mouth shut for uh, those specific uh, reasons. Anyway, so we have flaps, I think, ten. And uh, we're just about to make our way out. One engine has started. Sometimes they'll leave the number two uh, to start until we're sort of like three quarters of the way down the taxiway towards the runway just for fuel saving purposes. But yes, we will be live. So we will be live um, from around about 9 a.m. Uh, that's British Standard Time, uh, British Summer Time. Um, is that right? British Summer Time? BST? Yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> Just a uh, mind block there for a second. Anyway, yes, so tomorrow morning around about 9 o'clock a.m. UK time. Uh, that is obviously 8 a.m. Um, Euro time. Now that means that I'm going to be getting up stupidly early so I can get a good position for us up on the bank. Um, I believe that the uh, runway direction is the opposite way to the way it was last time. So they will be lining up on the southern end. Uh, we don't know yet whether Zigred Arrows, uh, um, the um, French equivalent of Red Arrows, and maybe the Red, White and Blue Arrows, are, um, are stationing themselves at uh, Toulouse uh, for the evening or whether they will be... Um, formatting with the display aircraft, well, I say display aircraft, the fly past aircraft um, in the morning uh, or when they go out. But basically, what we're going to get to see, um, channel members are going to give it a whole day um, and we will join the free view, will join us for uh, just the fly past itself. Um, so, of course. If you want to join us for the day, uh, this is a regular trip that we're looking at doing now with uh, down to Toulouse. I think this is the is this the third trip that we've done down there um, in as many months. I think uh, always great to see. Um, hopefully, as well tomorrow we might get a bonus. May well see uh, Virgin Atlantic's A350. Of course, the A350 with Virgin and the BA350 are um, well. The Virgin 350 has already flown, so. Um, She's being moved around the airport, airfield, and uh, possibly might even see some ground checks, ground tests, maybe some, uh, some um, okay, yeah, maybe see some um, rejected takeoffs and so on and so forth. As we always, there's always, uh, always something happening uh, at Toulouse. Of course, uh, of those of you watching who are unfamiliar with uh, the trips out there, uh, Toulouse is the um, assembly plant for the Airbus aircraft. Um, all variants, apart from the A220. Um, I believe that the A220 is um, still at its original um, production line. 
uh, whether or not Airbus are going to be moving that to uh, France at some point in time, not sure. But uh, even so, we will more than likely see A380 um, because they do have um, flight crew affiliation uh, at Toulouse on the A380 still, uh, as well as A330 Neo, A350, 1900. Uh, those Neos are great aircraft to watch as well. As well as obviously last time we were there, we had the A319 and the A320 being tested with the Pratt & Whitney PW1900 power plants, which were uh, which were quite interesting to see, as well as all the other stuff that obviously goes on around the airport. Um, it's a real good day uh, for our channel members. And then of course, um, I was actually discussing with Jilly that I might do a uh, week-long trip down to Toulouse in the van, um, which will mean that we'll be able to uh, spot the van in certain other areas around the airfield, obviously inform the local constabulary as well as the airport themselves, um, who are already aware of us anyway. So, uh, yeah, that's something that we're looking at doing as well. So... we just go. We should have a relatively short taxi because uh, we're going out heading I believe it's west on the westerly in a westerly direction. I think there are sheds over there. I don't think what they're for to be honest with you. Probably easy jet I'd imagine. Yeah look like 3 319, 320 so there's a uh, Tui Dreamliner park right over yonder. This big hangar that's being built uh, by Boeing, I believe. Um, word has it that it's supposed to be fitting two 777s in there, but I can't see that myself. Uh, maybe one 777X, because uh, I don't know though. That is a pretty damn big span across there. So flying time around about one hour and 30 minutes, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know, I can't see that they fit. There we go, there's number two style. Because I think we are gonna go straight out. So I'll say my goodbyes. Um, oh look, that's an Embraer uh, with Orany that's just landed. Pilot um, Tristan is now uh, flying the Embraers. So that could well be Pilot Tris moved up from the um, from the ATR variant with Orany and uh, moved up to the uh, Embraer uh, the Embraer yes uh, so taxiing up past the um, maintenance shed over there for British Airways looking a bit tatty to be honest with you probably needs a lick of paint radar weather radar probably I don't know, I don't know, maybe local radar might have a bit of a queue a bit of a lineup of course the great thing with the um, the little pocket rocket as we as I like to call them these uh, 319s is a uh, CFM 56 engines um, there we go flap test speed brake not flap test speed brake of course sorry my apologies before anyone jumps in it nah that is a thing mate um yeah, so, um, yeah, and uh, these things are um, extremely, uh, they feel very powerful out of the gate, just purely because of power to weight ratio and size of the, uh, still the CFM 56 uh, engine that powers the 320 and 321 as well, so, um, A lot of power coming out of this thing. You certainly feel it when it uh, pushes you into the back of the back of the seat. Little TC, uh, okay, TC. Apparently that MD80 over the uh, over the other side of the airfield, looking very sorry for itself. Apparently um, parked up there after the fella refused to or couldn't pay his parking fees at Gatwick, and that's what in, that's what how it ended up. Just. Uh, Obviously, had the engines ripped off of it. 
so it's a uh, reusable part of the aircraft which is amazing I still haven't done that thing with Safran yet but um, um, <coughs> still looking to do that so we're lining up I think we're just waiting for one to come in you got one coming in GP are you on the radar there Look down the taxiway there. So, if you want to find out what we do, folks, uh, what Bigjet TV is all about, just head to the website bigjet.tv. That's where you need to go. Find out all the information you need to find out. We're on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, if you want to become a channel member, you can and you are more than welcome. And if you're a new member, make sure that you uh, give us a shout on the show tomorrow. Oh, easy, son. Look at that neck. What was that? Bloody hell, I tell you. I don't know, but did you... <laughs> that wasn't good. He slammed the brakes on, like, big time. Like a, like a rabbit running... Yeah, slam the brakes on that. Did he? Uh, was that a wildlife or something? We're all right. That was a weird one. Never had that before. Like he stepped on the brakes, man, like big time. Maybe it was a rabbit. Might have been a bunny rabbit. He says there's a lot of bunny rabbits that run around on the. Anyway, um, I don't see any squished bits of. Funny wabbit. Uh, wabbit. Um, yeah, so folks, uh, gonna lose the transition, transmission. You see there, you really get a good look at that air bridge now. Look at that. Longest and tallest in the world. See that Rwandan A330 sitting over there, which we will see at uh, Toulouse tomorrow. Here we go. Stay live, GPR. 